few things to touch on today guys we have the full change log for the most recent update 3 that includes things that wasn't shown in the live stream the latest leaks forza motorsport punishing players for using an exploit we'll touch on that and the game awards let's jump into it starting off with the full change log for the update that dropped just today update 3 we already know about the new track the new features i'm not sure if i touched on the accessibility features that have been added if i hadn't there they are all the new cars we know about that but the bugs and fixes have finally been narrowed down. Now there is quite a big list of changes so we will go through them now. We have general ones if you want to read through these specifically please pause. Remember the codes that are next to each fix correspond to the codes found on the troubleshooting hub over on the forums if you want to sort of correlate between them. So we have the general, we have gameplay and free play changes and fixes multiplayer and tuning setups fixes and such and that so livery editor and wheels have been tinkered as well we have cars now there's quite a few of these and a little note at the bottom again pause if you want to read through them we have accessibility changes as well now try to read some of these because some of them are actually not bugs and fixes they are actually additions like the added audio description for example we have pc changes now this is probably going to be quite important to quite a lot of people so again if you've got pc issues pray that your issue is on this list and i believe that's the full thing so everything that we talked about in my previous update 3 video and all of these bugs and fixes, that is the full update three change log. Update four is next at the beginning of January. Let us know in the comment section below, how is the game running for you after this most recent update? Now let's talk about Forza Motorsport resetting players progress. Forza Support tweeted out just yesterday that players who excessively used a motorsport exploit to generate an enormous amount of credits have had their illegitimate progress removed. That's all that's happening. No one's getting banned. No one's getting suspended. You've just been reset. As a goodwill gesture, we're actually all being given the 2020 Audi R8 V10 performance to everyone. Now, they are not talking about AFK credit grinding. I think they are referring to one of the glitches where you could glitch your wheel speed that would give you an enormous amount of credits when you finish that race or whatever you're doing it in. What else is happening over on the Twitter world? Well, we have news that Forza Motorsport was nominated and won the best sports or racing game of the year and best accessibility or innovation of accessibility. Now the accessibility one I can kind of understand. Forza Motorsport really do go ham with accessibility. That's mainly the reason why there's so many exploits in the game because people exploit them but that's fair enough. The one that's been very controversial though is the fact that Forza Motorsport won the best sports and racing game. Lots of people have uh, made their opinion very vocal. Jimmy Broadbent, Super GT, Black Panther. I mean, I do kind of agree. I was quite surprised that Forza Motorsport got the game of the year for sports and racing games. I'm very interested to see what you guys think, so make sure you comment down below. What on earth do you think about this? Do you think that Forza Motorsport deserved this award? Bearing in mind the other games that were nominated are F1 23, Hot Wheels 2, the Crew Motor Fest and EA Sports FC 24. Well, if you look into it, it turns out that only 10% of the votes that actually pick the winner are from the audience. The other 90%, if you actually look into the Game Awards, the other 90% are from selected global media and influencer outlets. And you can actually go to the website and have a look at what outlets and what media outlets actually get the vote on who wins the Game of the Year awards. And you'll recognise some of the media outlets that you'll see on screen now. There's a lot of them. Um, but I think if the audience, such as like me and you, got 90% of the say in who wins, I don't think Forza Motorsport would have won this year. It's a controversial one. I'm intrigued to see what you guys think. So let me know in the conversation below. Should Forza Motorsport have won? I don't know. I like the game, but... Uh, now for the exciting stuff, the leaks. Now, a couple of weeks ago, TGR55, the same guy as usual, found a few interesting badges in the files. One that I can't pronounce, Polestar, Venturi, Zinger and Prior Design. Their badges have all been found in the files. Now, this might not mean anything, but we're still going to discuss this anyway, just to 
have a guess at what these might mean. Now, Nuclear Bomb went through these one by one and sort of summed up what these leaks could mean. There's a hypercar called the D12, which would be awesome to have into the game. Um, Venturi has been found in the file since the back as Forza Horizon 4, which I would say makes this less likely if this has been lingering around for five years now. We've got, they also had a Formula E team up until 22, a Lamborghini powered V12 F1 car, which was apparently really slow. The Zinger 21C is actually in Horizon 5, so this is a DLC, which probably means it's likely to come to motorsport for free um, in, a, in a monthly update. So that's certainly a possibility. Again, the badges in the files. The Polestar logo, however, was noted to be the newer Polestar logo from 2017 onwards, which could mean some of the newer Polestar cars could be arriving to the game, like the S60, the V60, the XC60, and so on. All of these are just possible things. Um, obviously, we're going to gradually accumulate a leaked car list as we talk about these, just like we did for Horizon 5, which has turned out to be very, very accurate. If, this, if it's the same for motorsport, then I'm sure we can start to get intrigued as to how accurate the motorsport leaked car list will be as well. There are some other things that were found as well, more manufacturer logos, such as the Matra Simca and Matra Sports. Again, could mean nothing or it could be a hint as to what's coming in the future. We're still very much in the early stages of Forza Motorsport right now, so leaks are a touchy subject, but over time we will start to gather a catalogue of what leaks we've had. Now, Nuclear Bomb actually DM'd me on GT Planet a couple of weeks ago. He did predict correctly that the Aston Martin Valkyrie was coming to the game, and he was perfectly right because it arrived in this very update. And he also gave us a list of six other cars that have been found in either achievement pictures or trailers, so we can add them to the leaked car list that we have accumulated so far. So thank you for that. This is all very helpful. You may remember that the main leak that we had was all of the car pass cars were leaked. Now, we have this list here where I have put all the dates on. Now, these dates are not guaranteed. These might change, but this is just going off of the information that we have. So far, update three has confirmed this to be pretty damn correct, as in 100% correct so far. So I don't see any reason as to why this would change. Someone made a very good point that the car pass will end around April the 25th if we get the full 30 cars promised. Now my list is around April, so that adds up perfectly. And he also made the good point that the Nürburgring Nordschleife is said to be spring 2024, which is around April. Now that would make sense to me that the car pass ends and then finally we get the Nürburgring Nordschleife added to the game right as the car pass ends, which is just in time. So, so far, looking back at the previous leaks as in this car pass list here, it's very accurate and it does have a good possibility of actually being bang on, more or less. I can't promise you that but more or less. If this list is ever invalidated, I'll completely remove it and stop talking about it. But up until now, it's bang on. They are all on the leaked car list. And as you can see, I have updated them to include the six cars that Nuclear Bomb let me know about. If there's any other cars that we can add to this list that have some weight behind it, let me know in the comment section below and we will add them to it. Anyway, guys, if you like, if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more content just like this. And I'll see you all later.